Over the last year since Alpha 1, Intrepid has been showing us tons of new gameplay of Ashes of Creation, showing off things such as Seasons Tech, Ranged Combat, Melee Combat, the Tank, various UI elements, and a lot more. But one thing the majority of these showcases have in common is they all take place in the Riverlands, leading many to believe that the Riverlands are in fact the only playable zone in Alpha 2 currently, and Intrepid has nothing else done. But to those people, you're probably wrong. I think you're wrong. But regardless of what we all think, if you're enjoying this content, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, help boost the channel, it'll mean a lot to me, and you'll get all the Ashes of Creation content you can dream of. Last August, Intrepid revealed to us a brand new world map where the world itself doubled in size, adding a few new islands, a new volcanic region, and expanding the water portion of the map to make naval content that much more engaging. And with this map, you could see some of these zones had names to them while others didn't. And my theory ever since this was released is that these zones that are named are the ones that we will be seeing in Alpha 2. But the evidence doesn't stop there. Back in December of 2021, we got our first look at Ashes of Creation running on Unreal Engine 5, where we got a look at a brand new biome being this snowy mountain region filled with caves and ancient dwarven ruins, a zone that really fits with the aesthetic of the frost gray fells on the map. Unfortunately though, we never saw any more gameplay in this area past that initial reveal, and we have since spent the remainder of our time in the Kayla Riverlands, a zone that is home to the Ayla humans, featuring various undeads, evil minotaurs, rock creatures, the Tower of Carfin, and much more that is yet to be revealed to us. A zone that I can say with 100% confidence is going to play a big role in Alpha 2, and once again, has its name on the map. We then also got a teaser for the Sand Squall Desert. This massive desert, which is where the Veiloon humans have made their home, it is scattered with ruins, scarabs, beetles, and all things you can expect in desert, including giant corrupted looking towers. Gameplay wise though, that's it. That's all we've seen of the desert. And then we just got more Riverlands after that. I initially thought that was gonna be the turning point to get us out of the Riverlands, but I was wrong on that. But again, Sand Squall Desert, name on the map. Gameplay wise though, that's it. That's all we've seen, just more and more of the Riverlands in that brief desert preview. But there are still three more zone names on this map. The Jundark Jungles, the Dunzenkel Mountains, and the Island of Drakathbor. And again, none of these we've seen any gameplay of. But what we have seen is concept art, at least for the Jundark and the Dunzenkel Mountains. Drakathbor is this mystery island that I know nothing about. I don't think we've seen anything on it. And I don't think there's been a single drop of concept art for this but it makes sense to add an island into the Alpha 2 testing to tie into naval content a bit more. So I'm sticking with that staying in Alpha 2 as well. Every time Intrepid has shown us concept art on a live stream, from what I've been able to tell, it's because they are working on that particular area. In the past, we got some zombie concept art, and then boom, a month later, zombies in the live stream. We got concept art of the Riverlands just before we got our first look at the Seasons tech. We just got new concept art of the Ruins of Ayla last month, which they then confirmed in the stream that they are continuing to work on, and that city is being flushed out. And we have seen loads of concept art on the desert biome before we got that first reveal there. And beyond that, we have seen tons of concept art of the Dunzenkel Mountains with ancient dwarf statues, towering mountains, and even some dwarf nodes, but we never saw any gameplay. We then also saw lots of concept art of the jungle biome over a year ago, leading me to believe that these zones are in a much better spot than we assume. That doesn't mean that these zones are complete by any means, but I do believe that they are in a fairly playable state. Steven even said the biggest thing to do leading up to Alpha 2 is fill the world with content implying that the world is mostly done, at least for what we are going to see in Alpha 2 zones. But then there is this whole Tropics ordeal, a zone that was being worked on in the Alpha 1 stages that if you would have asked me back then, I would have said 100% that it makes an appearance in Alpha 2 in a much more completed state. But there is no name on the map for it, and we haven't seen anything on the Tropics since Alpha 1, which could mean one or two things. One, my theory is completely wrong, throwing the entirety of this video out the window, or two, the Tropics aren't finished yet, and comparing it to the Alpha 1 map, we only saw a small portion of the Tropics in Alpha 1 come to life, and who knows how much of the Alpha 1 area, if any, is getting used. It could also be that Intrepid just doesn't want to show us that area again, and they want to show us some new stuff, who really knows, but it wouldn't be surprising to me if we don't see this area again until closer to the betas. And if 
the names on the map are in fact the Alpha 2 zones, then I believe that the Alpha 2 map is probably just about ready to go, minus the content. And this is solely backed by the fact that Intrepid stated in the December livestream that they had begun working on the Redwood Forest, a zone that is once again not noted by name on the map. Which, if I am right, could mean that the Alpha 2 map is pretty locked in at this point, and the developers are moving into content beyond the Alpha 2 testing phase. Which would make sense when Steven said the biggest thing left is adding content, which means Alpha 2 could be a lot closer than we think. What zones do you think we'll see in Alpha 2? Drop a comment down below, and if you're new to Ashes and you've yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below, where you can jump in on the forums, buy some cosmetics, or just hang out until you can finally step foot into the world of Vera. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.